Roberto Carlos has spent more time in an advanced position than Munitas has. And the, you've seen a couple of players develop on his side of the field. I think maybe they're treating this Anderlecht team just a little bit too casually. And the ball played through the centre forward channel. This is a great opportunity and Anderlecht have taken the lead. Aruna, the scorer, he took it with some aplomb because he just lifted it over the advancing Casillas. And Anderlecht have taken the lead. And Aruna gets his first ever goal in European football. Well, like I just said, I think they were taking this uh, Anderlecht team a little bit too lightly. We questioned the centre of that defence like we questioned yesterday. And look at this, Aruna comes in and he just slaps the ball over. Stoica feeds it right through to him and uh, they're trying to catch up to him. This time he makes no mistake. The last time he went in, he allowed Casillas to make the save. But this time he doesn't. As Stoica feeds it through and uh, Karanka trying to get back. And Aruna, uh, quite a handful, Mike, quite a skillful player. And this is just what this game needed. It's the 20 year old. Akalini. Roberto Carlos. Madrid trying to find a, a gap in that defense. They might have found it now. Here's Makaleli. Good save from the keeper. But he can't stop the follow up, and it's Salades who came through. the start that Real Madrid wanted for the second half. Salad is coming through after the goalkeeper had done well there to deny Makaleli. Well, you're going to see if you can't shoot, you can't score in this game. And uh, Makaleli was the man coming through from midfield to decide that he was going to shoot. And as the ball breaks back, it's uh, a little bit fortunate goal, but hey, you take them whenever you can get them. And uh, Makaleli, certainly not known for his attacking uh, ability, but he puts Real Madrid on the road here. For Salades, just his third goal ever in European competition. His first though of this season, and it ties it all up here. Real Madrid won, and the leg won. Remember that goal was scored when Andalek were down to 10 men with Basagio off having some uh, treatment. Back come uh, Anderlecht. Well, you're going to see Makaleli. He makes the nice move on the left-hand side of the field. And he has the legs just to get a touch on the ball. And look at that. A little bit unfortunate there for Anderlecht. Van der Hagen just can't get to the ball. And Savaitis does as he comes through. And he just ripped the back of the net with it. Roberto Carlos. It's a glorious ball. And it's two. Raul there taking that coolly. Well, Raul scored the goal, but put it down to that magnificent pass from Roberto Carlos. And this game has been turned on its head in the space of two minutes. Roberto Carlos with that long ball, and uh, Raul knocks it down nicely, comes across, and uh, doesn't hit it very hard, but he puts just a slight bulge in the El Onion bag, but it's enough to give Real Madrid a 2-1 lead. Takes it down on his chest while he gets inside of the defender, and you can see Real Madrid have come out with a whole different attitude here in the second half. They just uh, they had no intensity in the first half, but they're back in their game now, and uh, he'd be in the six-yard box at this stage. Instead, now he's staying back. See him there patrolling around midfield. It's a different, different formation. And here's a chance, and Raul. Whoa. Magnificent. Whoa, whoa. Well, no wonder they're on their feet. It's Real Madrid's 700th goal in European competition, and what a goal. The second of the night for Raul. Well, it's a little bit of history, and it deserved to be a brilliant goal. And Raul, look at that. He just takes enough off of it to squeeze it in under the crossbar. Brilliant. He's going at full tilt across to his left. 
comes back across his body with the ball and he still manages to just squeeze it in watch this put the foot underneath it that is absolutely magnificent brilliant running he gets a beautiful pass from Munitas and he finishes it off with a lot of style well he was the leading scorer in the Champions League competition last season that's his second now for this season his 31st goal in European uh, it's that injury room in midfield for Real Madrid he's got good vision he's got good skill as well he really set him on the right road setting up that first goal didn't he well that's beautifully done no flag Solari another pretty goal he took that so well Santiago Solari the youngster from Argentina and no wonder they stand in the floor Tommy uh, Solari had looked very good in the first half really enjoyed the kind of football he played and this really caps off his day he does very well here the ball is played through to him Solari has found himself inside of a couple of defenders uh, Salad has played the ball through to him and Solari with another beautiful chip I mean they're really being very cheeky and they're they're giving this keeper nightmares he's never going to want to see a ball going over his head again because every time he does he has to reach back into the back of the net and pull it out of the net might be a few questions about whether he was offside or not but the goal is going to stand Real Madrid four and elect one it's such a change round since half time 